we just had the monster debut for the Goku of Digimon, War Greymon. So let's compare the 1999 debut versus the 2020 debut and discuss which one was done better. Now technically, War Greymon made his debut in episode 38 of the original Digimon Adventure, but that was literally the last minute of the episode. He made his full appearance in the next episode. And of course, we see that beautiful warp Digivolution sequence. I still have both Digivolution sequences fresh in my head. And I have to say, I actually prefer the 2020 Digivolution sequence compared to the 1999 version. At the start of the 2020 Digivolution sequence, we had Metal Greymon staring above at the Crest of Courage, looking at it as a means to go through in order to achieve the next level. The evolution sequence seems to be heavily inspired by the transformation of the first Argomon to War Greymon figurine. War Greymon's torso is stored in Metal Greymon's head and the remains of his head becomes the wings. The way the rest of the armor is put in place is very similar to the figurine as well. Both the trident arm and the ulterior arm transform into War Greymon's battle claws and we can see the claws get bigger as well. As War Greymon finally gets through the Crest of Courage, the flames of the crest burn as he is screaming, War Greymon. Credit to the voice actor playing him, that was top quality. That Digivolution sequence itself felt like it was telling us a story. With Metal Greymon staring above and seeing the Crest of Courage, it was like he knows he has to Digivolve in order to rise past the Crest of Courage and unleash his true potential. And he does, when we see the Crest of Courage being marked on his head, which is due to Tai's help showing his own courage throughout the fights which powers him through and above the Crest becoming War Greymon. I looked at it like that. Maybe I'm looking in too deep, but it was just so well done. I can't stop watching that sequence. However, I still need to give props to the original because the original is still badass. We had Argumon in the sequence itself going through his champion and ultimate stage, showing his journey to get to War Greymon. The background of the sequence was the orange fire of the Crest of Courage. But what I love the most about the original sequence is that CGI animation style. It's not CGI exactly, but that's what it looks like. It represents the 90s so well because we had so many shows who had that type of animation. So for its time, it was insane. You had the shield, the battle claws, as well as his eyes open, signaling, I'm here to kill some dark masters. His shield right at the end of the sequence becomes fire. It's like he's transforming inside of a volcano, a Digimon that is fire itself. Both sequences are awesome, but the 2020 version for me just about edges it out. The build up to both of them were really good. For the 1999 version, we had the prophecy of a miracle with arrows of hope and light unleashing the miracle, which turned out to be War Greymon and Metal Garurumon. And in the 2020 version, we had Silhouette Mon, teased against Don Devimon, as well as against Groundramon. So there was a build up towards it, but was the build up good? And did War Greymon feel earned? For me, the 1999 version truly earned War Greymon. It was doomsday. The hour of the beast has commenced with six seconds, six minutes past six in the evening. So we had triple six along with it. This more or less referenced the day of judgment, the final day in most religions. It was insane that they actually referenced that. They basically referenced the Antichrist and the devil with that. And then when we see Venom Myotisman reveal himself, we now know why he was referenced as the devil and that only a miracle could beat him. Venom Myotisman was the first ever Mega Digimon on screen. Myotisman himself was such a pain to fight against. Both Gatoman and Wizardman betrayed Myotisman, which resulted in Wizardman's death, which then caused Gatoman to digivolve into Anjuman in the last second. It took all seven ultimate Digimon, as well as Anjuman, who has the strength of an ultimate, against the Dark Digimon to combine their attacks together to beat Myotisman. And remember, he is an ultimate Digimon, just like majority of the partner Digimon, and they still all had to combine together to defeat him. But now we have Venom Myotismon, the evolved version of Myotismon. How the hell are we going to beat him? And to top it all off, he is a behemoth of a Digimon, a genuine monster. So there was that anticipation when we heard about the prophecy that Jedi said. We knew the Digidestin can't lose, so there must be something special coming. And that something that we were all waiting for was War Greymon and Metal Garurumon. But this is a War Greymon video, so I will be talking about War Greymon mainly. The tension, the build up, 
and the element of surprise was there. It was basically the finale. Venom Myotis Man had that end game villain feel to him. And like I mentioned earlier, he was presented as if he was the Antichrist and we had angels involved. So this was such a big deal. Now, if I compare the build up for War Greyman in Digimon Adventure 2020, he was basically teased throughout the past few episodes in his silhouette form. Hence why I call him Silhouette Man. It's the need to get to that stage. We didn't completely achieve the Mega when we fought Don Devimon or even Grandramon. We were so close but still didn't have enough to reach War Greyman completely. The enemies were everywhere. We had the old enemy Parrotmon digivolving to his mega form. And how poetic is that? It's Parrotmon's mega form, Greymon's old enemy from the classic OVAs, was the one that gave Metal Greymon that final push to fully evolve into War Greymon. Metal Greymon and Ty were just going through hell in that episode. And to be fair, the past few episodes as well, because they literally have no rest but it's the perseverance that took them to the next stage. Both versions are so different to one another. One had to be the miracle to fight against this giant demonic vampire and the other had the journey of not quite reaching that stage but just needs that little extra push to reach the mega form. For the build up I have to give it to the original because it actually was a miracle. No one expected War Greymon to appear when watching it back as a kid. It was the iconic moment of Digimon and was an iconic moment for 90s kids shows in general. This was on par with anything that was showing back in the day. The Myotisman arc is still one of the best in the franchise and he was such a menacing villain. You would fear for the Digidestin if they came across him. He had that fear factor. So when he digivolved to Mega, there was a feeling of hopelessness. It really reminded me of Power Rangers Wild Force when Master Org came back out of nowhere when everyone thought that he was dead and he becomes this unbeatable demonic Org that took out all the Zords and the Power Rangers' his powers. He shook the world into darkness darkness with his power and you felt that same hopelessness in that finale as well. The dark empty feeling, you felt scared for the Destestin because Venom Myotisman wanted to eat everyone to add more to the horror. This had you glued to your seat and just full of wonder, how the hell are they going to beat this guy? And the show explains this miracle so well. I love the angels being involved and the time of the devil that was in this prophecy. This was basically doomsday for the people in Japan. It felt grand, like a show ending finale. Even when it was stated that Ty and Matt had to get shot by Anjaman and Anjawoman's arrows, that was still scary. I was shitting myself for Ty and Matt because what if it all goes wrong and the prophecy was bullshit? Because Jenai himself is a shady character. So the tension was unreal, the pressure was on on, something had to come and he did the Goku of Digimon. Whereas in the 2020 version the build up was solid with both Tai and Metal Greymon fighting a never ending fight in the jungle but we have seen this before in the same season with Metal Greymon's debut against Metal Tyranimon. That's why I am a little disappointed with the build up towards War Greymon. I think instead of seeing him in silhouette form against Don Devimon, if you saw him in his full form that would have been more impactful. Or even against Nidhogmon, instead of getting Omnimon back, why didn't we see War Greymon? It was perfectly set up for him to debut in that moment. Because we have seen Omnimon twice already. It felt like for me anyway, it's only a matter of time before we see War Greymon. However, in the original, even though we didn't know at that time War Greymon is coming or even knew who War Greymon was, the setup, the build up and the stakes were all there. It was the end of the world. War Greymon was the perfect payoff for that moment. Whereas here, War Greymon should have been up against an evil boss Digimon, not one of the side villains of the day. In this case, Crossmon. He should have appeared fully against Don Devimon because look at it like this. Argomon almost fully digivolved into Mishidromon, which is his dark mega form. And he was going on a madness. But thanks to that special otherworldly bond that Ty and Argomon have, this unleashed War Greymon fully. I'm saying there was no need for him to be in silhouette form. Why not just go fully in for the full digivolved version? That's all you had to do, really. Argomon transitioned from his dark mega into his heroic mega, thanks to the bond of Ty. It's perfect but they went with the struggle and perseverance story in the latest episode instead. Which was still good but we have seen this before with Metal Greymon and not just him with Were Guru Man and all the other Ultimate Digimon as well in Digimon Adventure 
2020. So I will give the build-up and the feeling of War Greyman being earned to the original. Now let's talk about the big guy in the episodes themselves. In both episodes of the 1999 and the 2020 version, he was such a boss. He commands respect through the screen, he's the perfect warrior. Him and Metal Garuman combined their attacks together to beat Fedor Mayotis Man in the 1999 version. And in the 2020 version, his terror force managed to wipe out all the enemy Digimon they were fighting against. I'll give this a tie on both versions because you can't fault them. It was too good. It was the perfect display for War Greymon on both versions. However, overall, I have to say the original just edges out for me in terms of his debut. I remember when I saw Agumon Warp Digivolve for the first time, I was in complete shock. I didn't know what to expect. Maybe my nostalgia is clouding my reasons for preferring the original, but I gave my reasons why I preferred the original over the 2020 version. But let me point this out. The 2020 version was still very good. It was not bad by any means. I just prefer the 1999 version of his debut. That's all. But let's switch it over to you guys. What version do you guys prefer and why? Please let me know down in the comments. And as always, care for nothing.